Hi, I'm Timothy. And I'm one of the many knowledge experts that you'll find at Micro Center stores. Here, let me show you something that you can do to maintain your Windows PC. Does your older PC give you a CMOS read error? What about a CMOS checksum error or a CMOS battery failure? Well, these problems can be attributed to a dead CMOS battery. With a dead CMOS battery, your computer may have difficulty keeping time. This could become problematic when visiting certain internet websites such as financial institutions. In this video, we will show you how to change out your CMOS battery and how this $2 part can mean the difference between a healthy computer and one that causes you grief. To begin, the part that we are looking for for most computers is a CR2032 battery. This button sized battery is available at most grocery stores as well as any Micro Center store. Removing the old battery usually requires a flathead screwdriver. Simply use the screwdriver to push back the latch holding the battery in place and the battery will pop up for you to remove it. Let's see that again. Use your flat head to release the latch holding the battery. The battery will pop up for easy removal. Installing the battery is just as easy. Just take the new battery and insert it under the latch and press down until it clicks. After replacing the battery, Go ahead and close up your computer case, making sure to put back anything else which may have been moved to gain access to the battery. You'll still get an error message when starting your computer. Go ahead and go into CMOS setup and just load and save the defaults. The BIOS screen for each computer will vary. After getting back into Windows, you may now reset your system date and time. And that's all folks. Today we talked about replacing the CMOS battery on the motherboard by using a replacement CR2032 button battery and with a flathead screwdriver. Join us next time for another Micro Center broadcast.